I'm Dr. Duff Sprawls of the Space Coast Cancer Center, and I'm here to talk to you about the side effects of radiation therapy. There are fertility problems. Women, if the beams are aimed at the pelvic area, there is a risk of early menopause and infertility. If the patient is young and wants to have a family later, she needs to discuss this with her doctor beforehand. Some of the eggs may be removed and stored for later use if the patient does not need radiotherapy immediately. It is important to remember that radiation therapy to other parts of the body do not have the same risk. Men, although the risk of infertility is usually lower in men than for women, there is still a risk. It's important to talk to the radiologist beforehand and male sperm can be collected and stored. Loss of appetite. Patients who experience fatigue and nausea often don't feel like eating. If the radiation was aimed at the head, neck, or chest, it might be difficult to swallow. Changing from a standard three meals a day regimen to many little meals six times a day may help. Drinking through a straw may also make drinking easier. Head and neck cancer patients often need to have feeding tubes to support their nutrition while they're on treatment. Dry mouth, also known as xerostomia, occurs when the radiation target is in the head, neck, or mouth, or salivary glands. The glands will usually improve after treatment, although this may take several months or even years. A small number of people may never recover their salivary function. Doctors may prescribe medications such as pilocarping, known as Cialogen, and they may also prescribe biotin, a cream or liquid that can help with the dry mouth. Remember that alcohol, caffeine, cigarettes can also dry the mouth, and these should be avoided. Hair loss. Some patients may develop hair loss. Although losing hair does not damage your health, some people find it distressing and embarrassing. If you lose your hair and find that it bothers you, ask your doctor to refer you to a counselor. You may also go to a local cancer support treatment group and talking to people who share this similar experience may help you feel better. Also, consider getting a wig or a hair prosthesis. This can help cover up your hair loss. Most importantly, while you're on radiation therapy, discuss all side effects, changes in your body, and well-being with your oncologist, nurse practitioners, nurses, and therapists. Presenting your symptoms to them is the first step in reducing your symptoms and managing your side effects.